It's Thursday and I'm off. I love that kind. Unfortunately, I happen to be out of beer at the moment, but uh, the wife is out getting some of that. But we have a project that we're doing right now. Let's see here. Now this, uh, this is a piece of galvanized sheet metal. And uh, this was here. This is just a scrap piece. And I got some uh, snippers. And I'm gonna snip a piece off of this to mount up the digital picture frame. And there's a strip. It's not particularly straight, nor did I even mark it or even really care. I just need something. And uh, this is uh, probably gonna do. It's really kind of more thicker than I wanted, you know, wider. But uh, that's all right, because I guess that's more holding power or something like that. So you want to be careful you don't get cut on the little edges, so you should wear gloves and that, but as you know, I'm a fucking ninja, so I don't need that kind. So anyway, now we're going to just see how that meshes up with the laptop. That definitely is going to be long enough. We're going to, you know, flatten her out, and then I'll make the bends on that. I'm going to bend that down over the edge, bend that down over the edge, and then chooch back out. And uh, I'll show you more what I'm trying to do here. That's kind of what we're aiming for. Um, it's getting caught on the fucking tablecloth and all kinds of good shit here. So we'll just undo that somewhere. And then uh, we're gonna bend that like that. And then this piece here is gonna bend out that way so I can mount this thing up in the ceiling. And of course I'll do the same on the other side, but I gotta get uh, some pliers and actually do this, uh, get the bends right and all kinds of good stuff like that. That's about what I'm aiming for. Now, for the bend around the laptop, I just kind of bent it around the laptop to make it a rounded bend around the laptop. But the other one, I actually used pliers, and you can see it's a much sharper bend. And this surface is going to mate up with that piece of wood in the ceiling if you review the turning an old laptop into a digital picture frame video. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. And then, you know, trim this down to size, and maybe I'll even be nice and burnish up the edges with my little grinder and all kinds of good shit like that. Okay, I've burnished up the edges with my four and a half inch angle grinder. And uh, although it still looks like it's sharp, it's not. Everything's nice and smooth. It's just a jagged kind of edge because that's how it's cut, and I really don't care. Here's a laptop, and let's see how it's going to fit. This is what happens when you jump the gun and just do shit without looking first. Uh, in retrospect, I'm wondering if I could just jam it in there with a couple little blocks of wood on either side. I forgot how small the bay actually was. So instead of going through all this bullshit, maybe I'll just do that and uh, it'll be uh, enough and I could actually put a little brace up in there just to keep it from tipping that you could just pull out. So. I don't know what I want to do yet, but that's kind of the idea I was going for. I was going to take this, which would go this way, and like that, and put it up in here, but, or actually, uh, you know what? I could still do it, and I could mount it to these things. Let's see if that works. Yeah. That's kind of more or less the idea I was looking for, kind of in a ass backwards sort of way. So I could do that and then probably block it with some uh, some shims or some rubber or something like that. I'll have to see what I have around because right now it's a little floppy cock like that. But if I mount that up with screws, obviously it's still going to kind of be loose like that. And I do need enough room to plug in an Ethernet cable. The power is in the back, so that's not a problem, but the Ethernet cable is. And uh, I just got to get all the measurements in, in check there. And uh, of course, if I made another one and then pushed it back and, and, you know, like that and then put it, but, you know, I need access to the power button too. So this is kind of the ideal spot. So let's see how everything else is going to work out here. Okay, a few hours later and uh, some double stick tape should work very nicely to hold the bracket to the laptop. And uh, then we can mount it up and put a couple screws in and it should be good. And we'll see what happens. So let me mount this to the laptop and stick it up in there. Okay, I folded the edges over. I don't care about the bend there. So I could just hang there, that's fine. Same on this side. 
just put the uh, shit up there bent over and I don't know if you can tell but there's a couple of little rubber blocks I put in and here's the screen of course and let me get down from my perch here Ugh. and now you can see it's pretty damn well mounted and I can move the screen wherever I want for whatever hangle and now I just got to run Ethernet, which is just barely enough room for me to get the cable in. Power comes out the back to run into this mess over here and in the closet where I have power, and that's it. Cool. Unrehearsed, here goes nothing. Turn on the bar. These things still work, that's good. That has to heat up. That lit up. These are doing what they're supposed to. Everything else here lit up, good. That thing's working. All our lights here. First time the bar's been on in forever. Noisy. Really noisy. But look, a green clean light. And an upside down screen. So, it's booting up. I don't have the Ethernet connected yet. I'm just running a, a little Fakakta flash drive off of that. You don't hear that noise when the music's on, obviously. So, we're just going to come back over here. I'll come back behind the bar, which is a mess because we just haven't been down here or even doing anything lately. I got a box here I could set the camera on. Maybe. But if you look, it's upside down. But if you wait, and it's going to take a while because it is only 64 mega RAM, but it does just look like there's a screen hanging from the fucking ceiling, which is exactly what I was going for. So this will take some time to boot and uh, then work, so we'll just put the camera here, like that. And I guess I can't zoom in on it because I don't have the right angle. But we can just wait here. See the screen's blue, and if you look very carefully in the upper right corner, you'll actually see the green Windows XP start button. Let's see if I could just zoom in to show you there. See, so you can make out it's still upside down. There's the recycle bin upside down. Doing laundry at the same time. And eventually, once it loads, and God only knows when that's actually going to happen, but once it actually loads, you will see that everything is the way it should be. People keep telling me that, oh, I know this one's getting rid of their ancient laptop, that one's getting rid of their old this, that one's getting rid of their old that. Okay, good. I need parts. I need SD RAM for laptops. The screen is blacked out. I don't know if that's good or bad at this point. Oh, we got something. Flip the screen, so now it appears correct, just 
just give you the perspective, of course, from where everything is. The screen is now in the correct orientation. Ooh, it's getting wibbly wobbly in the camera. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that actually comes out at the end of the, you know, when the, when you watch a video on something else or it's just the screen on the camera, but the edges are all wavy on the screen. That's pretty weird. So any one of these years, of course, you know, for the video it's making it take way too longer than it needs to, kind of. I just drew in the taskbar again. And it's probably just going to fuck up and say, like, it can't find the, the files on the flash drive or so, just to dick the program over. Now the screen is blacked out. But there you go. You can see the text is right side up. And there you go, the digital picture frame for downstairs, just like that, hanging from the ceiling, just bro awesome that way, just hanging from the ceiling. In fact, let me kill the lights, we'll see what it looks like. Open sign is working. Just a screen hanging from the ceiling. And I can haggle it different if I want. I can haggle it. Yeah, I can haggle it down like that. Make it I wonder I wonder if that's more better that way, at this kind of haggle instead. You know, it'll actually go way far like that, but that ain't no good like that. <laughs> so you can put it like any which angle you want. So I think we'll leave it kind of like that. I kind of like it at just that slightly obtuse angle, which you can't tell now because everything, but... Anyway, there you go. Digital picture frame. And when we're done, you could do one of two things. I could either just hit the damn button right there and it's set to automatically just shut down or just kill power and it just shuts off and next time you turn it on it just does its thing so that's that awesome